So how do we receive? We simply ask in faith and receive by his grace, just like we did when we received Jesus Christ into our heart. Remember the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of us in salvation. But when we ask in faith to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, literally we are immersed in the Spirit of God and we are filled to overflowing with that evidence of speaking in other tongues. But to speak in other tongues, we must choose to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. See, God never forces us to do anything. He is looking for those that will partner with him. He is looking for those that choose to yield to him, choose to give him continual access in their lives. I love it where it says, when I pray in the spirit, when I pray in tongues, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What that means is I have not learned tongues. I have not been taught to speak in tongues. This language is coming from the Holy Spirit himself. Now, I know English, I've learned that, and I know some Spanish. It's something I've learned, so what I know I can speak. But I couldn't speak Italian now if I tried. I couldn't speak German now if I tried because I didn't learn it. But when I pray in the Spirit, it's not coming from my understanding. It's coming from my spirit man. Remember, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we are filled to overflowing. And that overflow is our ability to speak in an unknown tongue. So Paul said, I will pray in the Spirit. Did you notice that? He says, I will. That means I choose to pray in the Spirit. He's not forced by God, he's not forced by the Holy Spirit. He's choosing to pray in the Spirit. So he said, I will pray in the Spirit, but I'll also pray in my understanding also. So it's important that we pray in English. It's important that we pray in our known language, but it's also important that we choose to pray in the Holy Spirit. Paul also said, I'll sing in the Holy Spirit, or I'll sing in my understanding. Isn't that amazing? So whether we sing or whether we speak, whether we talk loud or we talk quiet, that's our choice. What is supernatural is the language. See, the Holy Spirit will not force you. It's like if I take my hand and I tell you to open up my hand and I resist you and I get real tight and, and you know, it's going to be hard work unless you're a strong man uh, to open up my hand. But if I say open up my hand and I yield my hand to you, you can take it and you can move it. I've, I've given you the access to move my hand. That's the same way when we are baptized in the Holy Spirit. What happens is when we receive, we choose to yield our tongue, our lips, and our vocal cords to him. To speak in English, I have to vibrate my vocal cords. To speak in English, I have to move my lips and move my tongue. If I don't vibrate my vocal cords, you won't hear anything if I don't vibrate my vocal cords. I'm still talking, but you couldn't hear me because I didn't vibrate my vocal cords. I could you know, not, I could move my lips and I could move, you know, my vocal cords, but if I don't move my tongue, I'm not articulate. <laughs> it's hard to speak without moving your tongue. Or I can move my tongue and I could vibrate my vocal cords, but if I don't move my lips, it's not articulate. And I'm not trying to be silly. I'm showing you that for me to speak, I have to vibrate my vocal cords, I have to move my lips, and I have to move my tongue. And see, that is me yielding myself to the Holy Spirit. And so when I pray in tongues, I choose by an act of my will. It's not supernatural to vib vibrate your vocal cords. It's not supernatural to move your lips. It's not supernatural to move your tongue. But you're yielding to the Holy Spirit. And what is supernatural is the language. It is the words of the Holy Spirit praying through you to encourage you, to build you up, to heal you, to intercede for you, to strengthen you. 
And when you don't know what to pray for, you allow him to pray through you. But it's a choice. I have never prayed for anyone in person that did not speak in tongues. Even if they were shy and they were quiet. Because the moment uh, they vibrated their vocal cords and began to move their lips, the Holy Spirit took over and began to give them a inarticulate speech the Bible talks about. It might not sound uh, like a language to us. Remember, it's not in our understanding. If I heard someone speaking Chinese, it would be inarticulate speech for me. I would not understand them. It would sound like mumbo jumbo. So recognize that when you pray and you receive, you have to choose to yield your vocal cords, vibrate them, ah, then begin to move your lips and your tongue, and begin to yield to the Holy Spirit. It's so important to recognize that we are not forced to pray. We don't have to have a lot of emotion. We don't have to be shaken in the Holy Ghost. We don't have to have certain emotions. We can pray in the Spirit anytime. I can be vacuuming my house and praying in the Spirit. I can be driving in my car praying in the Spirit because it's so important to recognize my mind can function and my spirit can be praying. It is a powerful revelation to recognize that when I yield myself to Him, and I yield my members to him, that he will move through me and establishes his purposes in our life.